welcome dear audience and students here i am dr amjad ali in this video we will learn about the methodology of econometrics so you can say the steps involved in an econometric model or in an econometric analysis and when we are talking about the methodology of econometry the two questions uh, will be answered here the first one is how do econometricians proceed in their economic in their analysis of an economic problem what is its methodology and when we are talking about the methodology uh, there are different schools of uh, thought on econometric methodology but the still dominant uh, uh, econometric methodology is the traditional or classical methodology with still dominant empirical research in economics finance as well as Uh, other social management and uh, behavioral sciences okay uh, the, the traditional or classical methodology comprises of uh, these step the first one the statement of theory or hypothesis and the second one specification of mathematical model of the theory third one specification of the statistical or econometric model obtaining the data estimation of parameters of econometric model hypothesis testing forecasting or prediction and then the last one is use the model for control or policy purposes let's start the detailed discussion of these uh, steps the first one is statement of theory or hypothesis the first we have to uh, develop a theory on be on this we uh, have to say that the relationship between the variable exists or not this will usually involve the formulation of a theoretical model or institution from economics financial theory that two or more variables should be related to one another in a certain way the model is unlikely to to be able to completely capture every relevant real world phenomenon but it should present a sufficiently good approximation that is useful for the purpose in hand like we have a very famous uh, uh, theory which is presented by keynes 1936 that is psychological law that uh, the fundamental psychological law is that men and women are disposed as a rule and on average to increase their consumption as their income increases but not as much as the increase in their income so, so this reveal that uh, whenever uh, uh, the income of the masses will increase they are inclined towards increase their consumption but not as much uh, as their income is increases so in short the keynes postulates that the marginal propensity to consume um, the rate of change of consumption for a unit change in income is greater than zero but less than one so keynes here highlighted that uh, uh, although the consumption increases but not 100% increases as much as income is increases so consum uh, so rate of change in consumption remain greater than zero but less than one so after uh, statement of the theory or the hypothesis now we uh, convert this theory into the mathematical model or in the mathematical form so second step is specification of the mathematical model of the theory sometimes theory does not specify the precise form of the relationship between the uh, variable or between or among the variables so see here we have a theory and theory does not explain uh, what kind of uh, relationship between the variable either positive or negative so we have to convert our uh, Uh, theory into the mathematical model so far the simplicity of mathematical relationship among the variable has been developed then keynes uh, theory get the following form that y is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 x 2 uh, beta 2 x so see here uh, beta 2 is greater than 0 but less than 1 so see here beta 2 is greater than 0 but less, less than 1 so this reveal that that the consumption 
is increased uh, uh, by the increase in income but not as much as increase in income so here we have a y dependent variable here we have a consumption as an independent dependent variable and x is an independent variable and here we have income as an independent variable beta 1 is a constant or intercept coefficient or you can say that uh, which is not affected by the depend uh, independent variable and beta 2 is the slope or you can say the rate of change beta 2 present the rate of change how much change in our independent variable that much change in, uh, uh, is occurred in our dependent variable okay after the mathematical formulation um, our mathematical uh, model we have to specify the statistical or econometric model okay purely mathematical mathematical model is is of limited interest to the econometrician for it assume that there is an exact or deterministic relationship between the consumption and income so we can say that that uh, mathematical model shows exact relationship between the dependent variable and independent variable but uh, in real world this uh, in real world and in behavioral sciences this is not uh, uh, a correct form that uh, independent variable is not always decide the change in the dependent variable so behavioral sciences or many many sciences uh, rely on inexact relationship the relationship between the variables related to economic, finan financial, social and management sciences are generally inexact. So we have to convert our mathematical model into a, an econometric model to allow for an exact relationship, inexact relationship between the variable, the econometrician would modify the deterministic model into the non-deterministic model or uh, relationship uh, like as follow we have a y is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 x plus u here we have a u new term that u is error term residual term or disturbance term you can give the interpretation of the error term uh, uh, disturbance term or residual term so uh, in mathematical relationship we see that x independent variables completely changes uh, in the dependent variable but here u shows that the left part of the explained variation is explained by the u so error term is a random statistic variable that has allow uh, that has well defined probability properties the disturbance term you may well represent all those factors that affect the dependent variable but not uh, taken into account uh, explicitly so see here uh, uh, unexplained variation which is not explained by our deep independent variable is now explained by our error term so technically we can say that uh, this is uh, 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 you represent the those factor which is uh, which is not included in our model for the explanation of our dependent variable okay after the specification of the statistical or econometric model now we move toward the obtaining of the data and when we have an econometric model then we have uh, selected variables here and on the basis of uh, selected variable we can obtain the data of those variable to estimate the econometric model and to obtain the ex and to obtain the numerical values of beta 1 and beta 2 we need data so in this stage we get data like we get data of uh, of y variable and x variable so this is a hypothetical data not uh, actual data which is used for the coming uh, slide uh, estimation so i am only presenting the data here for an uh, hypothetical that uh, that you can obtain data from different sources like time series data will be like this okay with the help of data we can obtain the uh, uh, parameter beta 1 and beta 2 okay now the step 5 the estimation of the parameters of the econometric model now we have uh, the data uh, our next task is to estimate the parameter of the selected model 
the numerical estimates of the parameters give empirical content to the selected model the actual mecha mechanics of estimating the parameters are numerous but the well known is regression analysis the using uh, uh, by using this technique and the available data we can obtain the estimates of beta 1 and beta 2 thus if we have estimated model as y hat is equal to minus 0 0.2021 plus 0 0.8 x so these are our estimated parameters beta 1 this is uh, this represent beta 1 and 0.8 present beta 2 okay now with the help of these estimated parameters we can test the hypothesis uh, either we reject the uh, theory or either we accept the theory okay assuming that the fitted model is a reasonably good approximation of reality we have to develop suitable criteria to find out whether these estimates obtain are in accord with expectation of the theory that is being tested Keynes expects that the consumption will be positive but less than one if our estimated value meet the condition we accept or reject the null hypothesis okay like, likewise we have estimated model y hat is equal to minus 0 0.2021 plus 0 0.8x so see here we have beta 2 is less than 1 but greater than 0 so this means that we are accepting the theory of Keynes, which, uh, which explain that point 0 0.8 percent change in the uh, one percent change in the uh, in the income brings 0 0.8 percent change in our dependent variable consumption so technically we are accepting the theory of Keynes. So see here we have a beta, uh, beta, beta 2 value is a minus so if we have a x is equal to 0 if we put the x value 0 so this means that we have consumption or we have dependent variables minus 0 0.2021 so this means that uh, in the presence in the absence sorry, in the absence of the de independent variable our consumption is going towards a negative so such confirmation or refutations of economic or financial theory on the basis of sample evidence is based on branches of branch of statistical theory known as uh, statistical inferences you can say the hypothesis testing okay after the hypothesis testing now we are in able to forecast or give the prediction to uh, to the uh, coming generation or to the coming researchers okay if the chosen model does not refute the hypothesis or theory under the consideration we may use it to predict the future value of the dependent or forecast value variable y on the basis of known or expected future value of the explanatory or predict predictor variable x okay likewise we have a estimated y is equal to minus 0 0.2021 uh, plus 0 0.1 uh, 0 0.8 x so see here one unit or one person increase brings as much change in dependent variable two person three person four person so with the value of the independent variable we can forecast that how much change will be occur in our dependent variable so with the help of estimated result you can give the uh, prediction or forecast your dependent variable okay now with the help of uh, forecasting or with the help of estimated result we can give uh, 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 policy suggestion to the monetary or fiscal or 
uh, you can say the government a monetary and fiscal authority as well as the government the you uh, step eight is the use of the model for the control or policy purpose okay the calculations suggest an estimated model may be used for control or policy purpose by appropriate fiscal and monetary policy means the government can manipulate the control variable x to produce the desirable result of the target variable y if uh, uh, if the government or monetary or fiscal authority wanted to wanted to reduce the dependent variable then they have to reduce the independent variable if there is positive relationship then they have to reduce the de independent variable and if the monetary authority want to increase the dependent variable and there is a positive relationship then the monetary mon monetary or fiscal authority as well as the government has to increase the independent variable so with the help of independent variable we can uh, give the policy to the fiscal and monetary authority as well as to the government okay there is another methodology of the econometric which is given by uh, uh, brooks in his book uh, uh, introductory econometric for finance okay here we have a first step that uh, that economic uh, economic or uh, financial theory first we have a theory and then we have formulate that theory into an estimatable uh, theoretical model and then we have to collect these uh, uh, variables data which we have defined in our theoretical model and then we have a, a model estimation and here uh, at the stage of model estimation when we have here an quest, uh, important question that is the model statistically uh, adequate if the model is statistically adequate or not there are two outcome that if yes or no if yes then we have to move uh, this side if no then we have to move on this side if no then we have to reformulate the model again and if yes then we interpret the model and and relate our finding and you can say that we can uh, we can accept or reject the theory so here this is our uh, this is the stage where we accept or reject the existing theory which we are testing from this procedure okay if we have a yes then interpret the model and then use the analysis use for the further analysis and if we have a no if we have a no then we have to reformulate the model and go to the back stages it may be sorry it may be model estimation and if you go to the model estimation then you have to check it again it is a statistically inadequate or adequate and if no then move again and if yes then move towards this process and sometime your uh, uh, reformulation uh, of model is linked to the data collection and then uh, you have start from the data collection model estimation and then this day this day so on this day and if no then again you repeat the this practice and sometime you find, find that uh, you have a uh, reformulate your theoretical model and uh, then you again collect the data of the variable estimate the model and check the model is a statistically significant or insignificant or statistically adequate or not and if no then then repeat this process again and again and if no then you can repeat this process again and again until you find the yes answer and then you if, uh, at the end when you find the, the answer in yes then you interpret the model and use for the analysis and then you have to uh, give the policy based on the estimated result so keep it in mind in no case you uh, you have to reformulate and go back to the previous stages again and again again and again and if yes then interpret the model and then link this model with the pre with the theory and reject or accept the theory and then use for the analysis and on the basis of uh, these analysis we can 
and give the policy suggestion to the monetary and fiscal authorities as well as as somehow the government at uh, every level of the government okay this is all about the methodology of econometrics see you with another video ciao